<sighs> so team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and we on a different speed today and we'll get back to all the questions from subscribers and all that good stuff with the ravens next week but um today is the start of the playoffs and of course the ravens they aren't in the playoffs they had some opportunities to get to the playoffs but we all know what happened so they're at home watching with the rest of us so when they talk about birds of a feather flock together and we all ravens flock like i guess ravens the players and the coaches and they wanted to really be one with the fans so they could join us in watching all these other teams getting the play anyway i just wanted to um uh, know who y'all are rooting for today tomorrow monday <laughs> who are y'all rooting for in these playoffs now me um just overall uh, and i've said it before i i would like to see either the packers or the rams win it all i would like to see either one of them to win it all um now as far as these individual games just for this weekend uh the first we got the raiders versus the Bengals. i would like the uh the Raiders to win but I don't expect them to I expect the Bengals to take it I really expect the Bengals to light them up I, I really do I expect the Bengals to go off and for them to get uh their first playoff win in a while and they oh they're gonna be at home too so that oh they, they at the crib so you know it's going to be crazy there uh in Cincinnati that those the home fans they are going to be going wild because this is just a different atmosphere. I think, I want to say last time they got into the playoffs was under Andy Dalton, I think, in that five-year stretch when they would get to the playoffs every year, but they just they didn't win a game. But I think that all changes this year. Um, and shout-out to the Bengals, too. Shout-out to the Bengals for winning the division uh, so they get at least one home playoff game. Uh, they took care of their business this season. Uh, Joey B, 500 Burrow. Had a bounce back year. <laughs> boy, that boy went off against them Ravens. He said it was going off against going off on the Ravens was so nice. You know what? I'ma do it twice. I'ma do it. And yeah, people were hurting, da, da 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 But next man up, right? And nobody cares, work harder, right? Nobody cares, work harder. Right? That's the motto. So hey, if everybody hurt, nobody cares. Next man up just gotta work that much harder. But anyway, uh, so he, he, he went off, and they, they deserved their spot in the playoffs. They earned it, and I think they do get their first victory today. They just got – that is a team that has so many weapons, and they find ways to use those weapons. We had that conversation the other day, though. Anyway, so I, I would like the Raiders to win, but I don't see it happening. I think the Bengals going to win. I ain't even going to be mad at it. Uh, we also got the, the Patriots and the Bills. It's weird because this game, I just, I really don't care too much about it. I, I, I don't know why. I just, I don't. Um, but I, I do think the Bills are going to end up taking it. Because uh, I, just, I just feel like with both of those teams, like, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, like, I'm going to watch the game and whatever. But I just really don't care who wins. But I think the, the, the Bills are going to get it. I think it'll be close for a little while. But I think the Bills will end up uh, running away with it. And um, it's going to be cold. This is uh, AFC East football, so it's pretty. That's AS AFC East football is pretty. It's very pretty, uh, and it's very strategic. And is, but anyway, um, I think Bills get the win over the uh, the Patriots later tonight. And they do. I guess they're doing all AFC tonight. They're doing a lot of NFC tomorrow, but then AFC too. They yeah, they they, they did a little flip floppy schedule, but it's all good. Now um, tomorrow's schedule: the Bucks versus the Eagles, like. Mm, yeah, Bucks, Bucks. I, I just Bucks. I just feel like it's probably not even gonna be much of a contest. I mean, shout out to Philly for showing up. Shout out to them for making the playoffs. But I think this one is just. I think this is gonna get sort of disrespectful almost. And I, I do think that um, Philly gonna make they gonna they gonna make some plays now. But I just I, I think this one is gonna get a little ugly. And I, I think the the Bucks are just good. I think Tom Brady could end up sitting down, and, and he ain't gonna he ain't gonna uh, defy Bruce Arians by going back into the game this time. I think he he is going to be able to sit down and be like, all right, we did it, game's over. I can rest for the rest of the game now. Uh, another game tomorrow, 
Oh, now this one should be fun. Like the, the Eagles Bucks game, I'm glad they got that one at one. They like, all right, get it out of the way. We already know what's going down. Get it over with early. This game, though, I am interested in this Cowboys and 49ers. That should be a really good game. And that's the one for me that I feel like is the biggest toss up because I just don't know, man. Um, I'll go with the Cowboys, but I feel like that I feel like that might be the best game. Well, minus the and the Steelers and Chiefs game too, but I feel like that might be the best game of this weekend. Cause oh boy, uh, that ooh, that I'm excited to see that one tomorrow. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna take Cowboys for that one. Now we got the Steelers versus the Chiefs. Ooh, Steelers versus the Chiefs, and in this game. Um, Steelers, they come in as big time underdogs. Even Ben Roethlisberger, my guy, uh, Brandon just showed me uh, the video. I hadn't even seen it with Ben Roethlisberger. He was being straight up. He said, we, we ain't got no business to play. We ain't even that good of a team. He said, out of the 14 teams that made it, we're probably number 14. And we're going against the number one team in the AFC. He said, not the number one seed, but the number one team in the AFC. They've been winning the AFC for the past couple of years. And he said, we're just going to go out there and have fun. Steelers are winning. Steelers are going to win. They're going to win. They are the uh, heavy underdogs like crazy. They, this is the upset of the week or the weekend, of the upset of the playoffs. I think Steelers get it. I hope they don't. I hope we see those same Chiefs that the Steelers saw a couple weeks back. But I, I don't think it's going to happen. I think Steelers are going to win in a close one, or they're going to make it happen. And maybe, maybe Juju, he do a little dance on the Chiefs logo or something. But, yeah, I think Steelers are going to get it. That is a game that um, probably out of all these games, I'm excited for the, the, the Raiders and the Bengals game. Uh, and I'm excited for the, Cow, uh, the Cowboys and the 49ers game. But probably this is the game that I'm excited to see the most uh, is the Chiefs in, the, in, the, uh, the, the Chiefs in Pittsburgh. So that should be a lot of fun. Now, uh, Monday Night Football, historic, right? First Monday Night Football playoff game uh, between the Rams and the Cardinals. Mm. That's a tough one. No DeAndre Hopkins still. Uh, he been, he's been out for a while. They said if he, if he does come back, it will be during the playoffs. They just don't know when in the playoffs, maybe for the Super Bowl. But I just don't think this is Cardinals' year. And I think that Matt Stafford, he gets his first playoff win of his career. Because Matt Stafford is crazy. You, you hear all this stuff about some quarterbacks, but you don't hear it about others when it comes to those playoff wins. Because Matt Stafford has been around a very long time. A very long time. But he ain't got no wins to show for it. No playoff wins, none of that. And I didn't know. I was just watching um, Speak for Yourself earlier today. Where they were talking about Matt Stafford is the, he has the most yards in NFL history. Most passing yards in NFL history without a playoff win. So that shows that he's been around. Like he's he been in the league for a little minute. But yeah. And we know the Lions, they were definitely not the best run team, best run organization. We, we, we know that, and we get that. But still, you ain't got nothing to show for it, my boy. So, anyway, I, I think this is where he does get something uh, to show for it. So, good for him. And I, I do think that, um, that the, uh, the Titans and the Packers, I think they'll do pretty well this, this weekend, too. Would you say? And the Titans, man, shout out to number one, most players on injured reserve. Most players that they had the most players play in the game this year. Um, they had the most players on injured reserve. They made it happen. They made it and still got the number one seed. Their, their workhorse, Derrick Henry, out for the most of the year. They still made it happen. Still made it happen. No excuses, no, and they, they did still had a quarterback, though, so that would be, because if Tannehill would have went out to it, uh, no, but they made it happen. We know Derrick Henry, how much that offense runs through him, um, but Titans said, all right, no Derrick Henry, no problem, no Julio Jones for a couple games, no problem, no A.J. Brown for a couple games, oh, no, oh, boy, but they made it happen, so shout out to the Titans, remember the Titans, it's crazy, because the Ravens, um, a couple years ago, uh, in 2020, they built their team to beat the Titans. That's what, they, that's what they constructed their team to do. They brought in guys who could help them beat the Titans. 
That was their MO. That year. Hey, remember the Titans. And <laughs> they lost to them in overtime. <laughs> and then they end up in the playoffs. They end up getting them uh, in the playoffs. So they finally had conquered that. But they invested all that personnel, all that energy into beating the Titans. And that was it. And that was the end of that. Um, so, but the Titans, yeah. Shout out to them for being a number one seed. And then the Packers. Oh, man, the Packers are in such a great situation because with the Packers, um, they, what, what were they, I want to say 13 and 4? Or no, they lost the last game of the season to the Lions. Nobody talks about that. It's because the Packers, are, we don't care. But whatever their record is, they're the number one seed in the NFC. But the thing about them, they, uh, they lost a lot of guys. David Bakhtiari, uh, Jair Alexander, Zadarius Smith. They lost a lot of guys, but guess what? All those guys are back. All of them are coming back. Every last, and they got some more too that they lost that are coming back too. But those are the, those are the names that I remembered. So they're, they're getting healthy. They're, they're getting their team back. They're getting their players back. And it's like, wow, that's what timing that is. I know Ravens fans, we, we jealous of that. Because it's like, oh, man, I wish that would have been us. And we did get some guys back. We also rushed some guys back and made them sit out longer. But another conversation for another day. But anyway, who are y'all rooting for in the playoffs? Who, who do y'all want to win? Who do y'all want to lose? What do y'all want to see happen? Who do you think is going to take it all? Who do you want to see take it all? How do you think this thing is going to go down? Anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And just like when it comes to looking at the playoff schedule and trying to find where the Ravens are in the thick of things, oh, they're out.